All right. We seem to be going. Everything okay? All right. I guess everybody can hear me. I forgot to ask about that. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Happy Friday. Welcome to Time Warp Art. Uh, Bryn here behind the camera. Um, since uh, it's spring and people are starting to think about vacations, I thought we would do a little trip journal using the little um, 9 by 6 file folders, for one thing, and a regular file folder as well, and some 9 by 12 paper. So if y'all want to get that, get that together and work along with me, this, this is going to be a real easy, real easy project. Um, I'm going to do a little show and tell about some other journals that I have um, before we get started. I, I find if I start the day with show and tell, I do really good. <laughs> so let's see if we can uh, roll right along here. Okay, let me move this just a little bit. That's my tote with my tools in it. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this, uh, I have arted on the cover. I did some collage on the cover. But it's a leather, uh, I think it was like a day planner. Um, I, I'm not sure, you know, there's no brand on this thing at all, uh, but I think it was some kind of day planner. Anyway, I have uh, modified it, um, and it's got a zipper and everything, and sometimes I'll carry this with me. It's a little heavy, so it doesn't always go with me, but it, it's really nice to carry. It's a nice size, you know, I can carry it down by my side or put it in my, um, messenger bag or you know uh, a tote bag or something. I have a backpack that I carry now that has wheels so I can pull it or wear it which is very good for my shoulders so yay. Anyway this uh, it has uh, pockets and I you know have stuck this is a piece of mat board sometimes I need something really stiff and I can use that as a straight edge as well for tearing paper and whatnot. Um, it had another flap on here but I, I cut it off I don't know what it was for. I think it was for like credit cards or something. It had lots of little useless pockets. So I got rid of that, but I can I left the Velcro tab so I can still use the Velcro tab if I want to keep that over here for some reason or other. But it's got a real nice pocket and then of course it's got a clear pocket here to put ephemera and stuff in. Um, it's got a nice elastic in the middle. One of the um, spritzer bottles uh, with water fits really nicely in there. This is one of the mini misters that, that works really well to go there. Or you can put you know, your water brush or pens or you know whatever you want. Um, and on this side, it's got another pocket back here, but it also has one here. So if I wanted to put in like a little tablet, which I thought I had one. Oh, well. Anyway, if you want to put a little tablet, you can put, put that there so you can have something to write with. And then I've put... Um, I've done some watercolor paper signatures and bound those together and put those in. Um, and the watercolor paper doesn't need a, a back really if it's in here. So I've got all this watercolor paper. Yum yum. I can use that. And so I carry this sometimes with me. That's really cool. Love this thing. And then um, I got another idea uh, from a website, uh, watercolor website, and um, this is a little, let me see, what's this called? Um, right in the Rain. Okay, let me put this up here. You can get these on Amazon, but rightintherain.com. It's right there. Okay, it's a little notebook cover, and it has a zipper. It fully closes. Um, there's a pocket here. There's a pocket back here, and what goes in is a little notebook, and it's not easy to get in and out, so I'm not going to take it out. But it's a little plastic notebook with the six uh, ring, six ring binder in the in the middle, and you can put uh, five by seven pages in. So what I have done is I've got different kinds of paper in here, and I've done it five and a half by. Uh, seven um, and I did it that way because if I want to like cut it and frame it I don't have to have the holes so 
yeah, that's pretty cool. And then, of course, there's your, all your pockets for your pens, and there's a little one right there, and then the big pocket, you know, you can still stick stuff into. Um, yeah, I got this on, on Amazon. Um, let me show you again. Right in the rain. I think it's going to focus. I don't have autofocus on, but I think it's going to be okay. You can probably see that. Okay, but it's really, really nice. I, I enjoyed using this. Um, I always have a test page in, in my journals. Um, always have a test page. Because I'm always doing, you know, different things with different materials. So you got to play with that. But that's that's a really nice little case. And there's plenty of room for expansion. Because, I mean, you can see there's still... I can pinch it and I've still got more than a quarter of an inch. So there's plenty of room for expansion. And, this whole thing. and the zipper is really nice. So that's that's kind of a cool cool thing. That's my latest acquisition. And this right here, I made this one. Um, this is just, I guess you can, yeah, if I move it like this, you can kind of see. My light is above and to the left. So I have to kind of remember that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is just the crinkling your um, bags from the grocery store, you know, just the craft bags. Just crinkle that and uh, paint it and put, you know, various layers of ink. This just has a brass and copper ink over the top of it to make it look like leather. I didn't even seal it or anything. Uh, I just use it like this. And um, what's different about it is I have removable pages in here. So I can like literally slide the pages out so I can work on it in the book or not. And it's also refillable. So the way I did that, I took, let me see, let me show you the outside. There you can see. Um, I took three eyelets. And this is an inch wide um, back of the book. What do you call it? <laughs> Words escape me. Anyway. Um, okay, so that's an inch wide. And I took three eyelets and spaced them out. And of course, I've got one on each end, you know, three on each end. And then I've taken my cording and just run it through. Let's see if I can show you the center. See, here's my here's my wax linen. Okay, so I've got it um, running through. Okay, the center of each signature, and my signatures are three sheets folded. Okay, so if I can fold it over this way, you can see how it goes in the eyelet, through the middle, down through the other eyelet, back up through the center eyelet through the center of this signature, down through the hole, back up through the other hole, down through here, back through the other hole, and tie it. There you go. And you can refill it as many times as you want. And it's a nice size. It's, um, let me see, let's move over. I've got all my tools kind of spread out today since I'm doing the challenge. I want to kind of reach everything. Okay, so the pages, seven and a quarter, by five and a half, so seven and a quarter by eleven, and then they fold it. And then um, the outside is eight by six and a quarter. Okay. So that's that's kind of cool. That's fun to use too. Okay. So what we're going to do today? We're going to make a trip journal using these little folders. Okay. These are nine by six when they're folded, plus the little tab, okay? And they're 9 by 12 with minus the little tab, okay? So I use 9 by 12 paper. Now the paper I use, I love using the mixed, Canson Mixed Media paper. That's kind of one of my favorite papers um, in 9 by 12. You can also use um, a 90 pound watercolor paper or you know whatever paper you prefer you can use Bristol the Strathmore Bristol you know any of that stuff as long as it's 9 by 12 so what I want to do with that 9 by 12 is in the Canson um, mixed media book there is uh, perforations so all you do is take your page out okay you just tear it along the perforation and take your page out and then fold it in half, which is, you know, 
Everybody knows how to fold paper, so you just, you know, take it like this and fold it in half. And take your bone folder and you throw it across. And there you go. Okay. And you can make as many of these as you want for each signature. Okay. So what my goal is in the end is to have that for a second is to have um, a file folder for every day so if I have a three-day weekend like hello this weekend see I was gonna do this last week but, you know kind of got messed up anyway <laughs> you have time to do it um, so say I want three I have three days okay so I've got three folders okay so Friday Saturday and Sunday okay and you can you know label your tabs however you like you can decorate them or not um, you can do it later it doesn't really matter so what you aim for is getting signatures that go into each folder okay so when I start out I have the signature in each folder now what I do with the signatures once I have them folded is I'm going to staple them okay and I'm going to staple them with okay wait for it wait for it wait for it My DD style tiny attacher. <laughs> okay. Long reach stapler. Okay. <laughs> so that's what I did. Mine has a, um, a bar that you can set at six inches. And so all you do is set that at six inches. And mine doesn't stay, it kind of slips. So I kind of I put some blue tape to hold it. So I just start in the center, and I'm eyeballing. You know, I start in the center and staple, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I've just done three places. You can do two; it really doesn't matter. But anyway, okay. Bye, tiny attacher. <laughs> That's the first time it's been out of its box. <laughs> Everybody's got one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. So I've got my three signatures done. Let me put the ones that are not stapled over to the side there. Okay, and of course you use your bone folder and reinforce all the creases and everything. So then I'm going on my trip and I'm packing. And so I want to take all of this just like this, put them in each folder. Okay, so now I've got my three days all set and ready to go. Okay, now I also have made a cover for this. Okay, so what? Whoops! I bumped the camera again. Ah, one of these days I'm going to be able to have it overhead and not have anything over here. Like my um, tripod legs are here, <laughs> literally just out of view. I've got my camera backed out as far as it'll go. So okay, so um, a regular file folder, which I'm going to fold one, but I'm going to use the craft. Um, just a regular size file folder. Okay, so I folded it up and done a few cuts. Okay, so basically what you do is you take a folded sheet of paper that's, you know, or one of your signatures, all right, and you know the file folder already has a crease down the center, so I just made use of that. And so you want to put that in there, and then you're going to fold it up. See, no measuring, no rulers, okay, and you just fold it up you know, you don't want it hanging out, but you just fold the bottom up, okay? And I have cut um, the square out. From See from this corner right here, and on both sides, I have cut the square out because otherwise it's too bulky when you close it to keep everything in your pockets. So what you're doing is you're making a double pocket, okay, in your folder. And then you've got this area, and you've got you can close everything up. Now, what I've done with um, set that down. <laughs> it's a little noisy. What I've done is um, with the craft folder is taken this, done the same thing, and I there's some creases in this one that doesn't belong there, but that's okay. So what I've done is taken this so that when I put, I can just lay these in here, or I can tuck them into the pocket. It really doesn't matter. Um, fold this in. I can put ephemera over here on one side, close this up, and then have this fold over, and then take a, a hairband, a little slippy there, 
take a hairband from the dollar store and there you go there's my travel kit okay so when you get home and you get all your artwork done then you can stitch it all together and you guys know how to stitch a book together you can do it you know um, pamphlet stitch is the simplest so you can stitch it stitch all your pages together and then you have a book and this can be your cover and you can stitch the cover on or not okay so easy peasy easy easy to do so you can carry one folder with you every day and do whatever you're going to do in it you know you can also tuck an envelope you can put an envelope over here or you can put one of these um, clear pockets this one's a five by seven but you just put uh, uh, your um, score tape like score tape uh, on three sides leave the top open and uh, you can tuck your ephemera into here for the day and then that's that's your day booklet okay all right so that's that now that really easy really quick not hard to do if you want to make one for this weekend if you're going somewhere or you're already somewhere you can still do it um, and then this is my latest uh, version of the travel kit it's still in progress um, but I try to cram as much stuff in this little bag as I possibly could. Um, this was purchased at Hobby Lobby uh, ages ago. Um, I don't know if they still have them. They some have something similar, I'm sure. Um, Sears has a really cool bag. Um, I think Harbor Freight even has a cool one. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, hey, Jean. Hey, Sandy Chick. Uh, hey, Jamie. <laughs> So I'll, I'm going to show you this, but first I want to show you my original go kit, okay? My to-go box, okay? This is my to-go box. This is what usually goes with me because it's it's hard surfaced, um, nothing falls out, and this is my favorite way of carrying my art supplies. So let me show you the lid for a second. Okay, so I have post-it notes, I have business card, I have... Um, some you know post-it note strips for marking pages I have a little place where I can put small ephemera um, postage stamps if I find some postcards I want to send mom or something like that and there's a little um, template and, and things over here uh, but I, it's just an envelope cut in half it's one of those tag envelopes cut in half and stuck to the lid and then of course I got all this other stuff on the inside and I've showed you guys all this before um, there's just your basic necessities, you know, scissors, your tape runners, a small um, alphabet uh, rubber stamp sets. I mean, there's just, you know, all kinds of things in here. A little bottle of gesso, a little Versamark ink pad, some other ink pads. Um, there's a black one in here somewhere. I've got my Brad Pitt markers, a um, little flashlight, uh, date stamp. Oh, highlighters I use to, for our maps to track our trips. Uh, so I've got highlighters in here, usually two, one green, one pink. That one is uh, lime or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, a fan in case we get somewhere where there's no air conditioning and I have to sit in a, you know, the truck and it's have to wait on the hubby or something. <laughs> Paint brushes, clips. I mean, there's just all kinds of everything I could possibly think of. Um, a lid to use for water or paint or you know something like that for the watercolors. The stand. The um, Dauber, um, salt, uh, sponges, um, packets of regular salt. That was rock salt. So you know, just all kinds of, all kinds of little things. And this is just water, um, emergency water. Although I haven't used it yet because I've always got a bottle of water. So uh, I took some paper towels and cut them, um, and rolled them up. So this is just like a roll of paper towels with a rubber band. Oh, you can see the stamp, another stamp set down there. Oh, there's a little cutting mat as well. But there's all kind, I mean, just anything I could possibly use <laughs> is in here. Okay. And then the flip side always has my current um, journal. There's extra paper towels. Oh, I always carry this metal ruler for tearing things. Always. And I've just gotten to where I stick a pair of gloves in here in case I want to pick up something off the ground. 
um, and I usually have some uh, Ziploc bags uh, somewhere but here's a little mini ink pad and if I have magnetic stamps um, that's what I use that for and then a journal will go in here so I must have mostly everything and this has served me well for years um, I got this box at Michael's it's one of those scrapbooking doohickeys with all the divisions that you can make your own divisions in yeah don't ask me what the name of it is I don't remember and I, it's not on here anywhere apparently but I have several of these things. I love these boxes. So anyway, that's my that's my main travel box. Now this little tote bag, this is the one that um, I've just recently put together with all kinds of little little doohickeys. Um, okay, so my main um, main drawing pens are over here. I've got some scrapers. I mean, there's two more pockets. I haven't even put anything in yet. I've got a couple of um, pipettes for filling my water brush. Um, there's some scrap uh, papers and uh, cards in there. I've got my Stabilo All pencils. I've got my Pilot markers. I've got my um, Scarlet Lime pen, which is a Pilot something or other. Um, got a couple of the big Brad Pitt markers. There's my white and my black. This pocket's got a mister with water, some sponge daubers, um, what do you call these things? Um, spouncers, okay. There's a piece of the cut and dry foam in there, and there's a piece of this rubberized um, shelf liner, I think is what it's called. Shelf. Yeah, this stuff, this shelf liner stuff, yeah. Uh, sometimes I can't get my paint jars and stuff open, and so that's what I use those for. They can also be used to stamp texture, so there's a dual purpose with those. There's a, a bottle cap. Actually, that's off of milk. There's a little tiny watercolor kit. I mean, this is the tiniest kit I've ever seen. It's so cute. And then this is old. This um, uh, says the Alamo. This is one of those expandable uh, cups. Okay. And I treasure this thing because I don't think you can get them anymore. I can't find them anyway. But I treasure that little rascal. It comes in handy sometimes. So let me tuck all of these things back in here. And keep going around. Okay, so now we've got um, the Elaine's Tacky Glue. The glue stick. Uh, Ranger glue stick. Which, by the way, the Ranger glue stick, they have made it into triangular shape. Interesting. These, I guess, kept rolling off the counter, which they do have that problem. <laughs> but I can still stick more stuff in these pockets because, see, there's three more pockets. So I can still put stuff in there. Okay, the other end pocket has uh, sponge brushes, um, sponges, a small brayer, and this is one of the um, chestnut, the color box um, pigment pads that you get, they stack. This is my favorite for edging, and so I keep that in here. I've also got an extra package of um, the daubers. Now, I put these in here because the ones I made, and I'm going to grab those to show you. I don't know if everybody has seen those, but the ones I made from the um, soda bottles and water bottles, and I did show that on a video recently. So um, they're kind of big to go in here and these are already in a little box and so I just left it at that and um, that's what I'm carrying for now okay so let me stick all these back in here and what I try to do is when I store this bag I try to store it laying down because I've got all the pens and things standing up and they recommend that you store the markers and pens laying down so when I store it, it goes into a big giant Ziploc bag, you know, the two gallon Ziploc bags, and our slide lock, whatever they're called. And it lays down like this when it's stored so that all my pens don't get messed up, you know, just sitting and waiting for me to take it somewhere. Yes, I make Dauber's TV. <laughs> okay, now on the inside, I've got my score tape. Okay, and I usually just take the quarter inch score tape and I don't carry the whole thing because if this assists in the truck 
and it's really hot, I don't want my store uh, too much score tape to get messed up. So I don't want it to get overly sticky, which it can do in the heat. Okay, this is something I made. I saw this online. This is not my original idea. I saw this online somewhere. I can't remember where. I don't remember if it was a YouTube video or a blog. I can't remember. But um, there's just a piece of cardstock totally covered with duct tape. And what this is for is a cutting mat. Okay? It's a cutting mat. So um, if it gets ruined, you just make another one. But it's great. It's lightweight. It's just perfect. It's, it's flexible. You know, it's just perfect. It fits right in there. Okay, and also in that pocket, that the side pocket, yeah. I've got two um, archival ink pads. And um, let's see what's in this pocket. Okay, this pocket, this is um, just junk mail, um, and but it's, it's uh, kind of like newsprint. And it's a glue surface. So when I'm working in a, a like a collage journal, you know, that's not, you know, painted in or stuff. I glue stuff. Okay, so I laid on here, put the glue on, and then just fold the page over so it doesn't get glue anyplace else. Okay, but that's what this is for, and I cut them, you know, so they'll fit in there. And then, oh, here's an envelope with templates. Okay, so I've got various things, and I've cut uh, cut most of these from, um, on the die cut machine, so I have, you know, just very light templates. Um, that's a circle punch um, that makes clouds or just a half circle or, you know, whatever. Flower, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, but that's what goes in there. And then, of course, I have the good old uh, circle template that slides right there. It wouldn't fit in the envelope, so it's right on, right on the edge there. And it's got scallops on the edge of it. Okay, now the center, all right, the center this is a pen holder, okay. I got this with a makeup kit at a doll at the dollar store, okay. So your you know pens and stuff just you know will sit in it, okay. Just as you you know when you're working on stuff, you just it's easy to do, okay. So just that's why that's in here, okay. I have a set of gelatos, okay. I have a set of Zig Color Brush Twin markers. I've got two sets. I got these on eBay because uh, they don't make them anymore, but they're watercolor markers. And yes, they do behave like watercolors. Very cool. Speaking of watercolors, you can see all my um, my tubes of uh, acrylic paint. This is not the watercolor. This is acrylic paint. Okay. It's a small set. I don't even remember where I got it. It was probably Hobby Lobby because I'm shopped mostly there. Um, art advantage, but they're they're very small, and of course I have extra um, tubes of uh, black and white, and I like Liquitex Basics. I put those in here. So this is how mostly I carry my um, acrylic paint is like this, and then um, I have one favorite favorite thing. It's Titan Buff Golden Acrylic. So that's this little bottle, and I can refill it from the big one. So that's what goes in there. And then I also have one bottle of gesso. And um, this was sent to me as a freebie of the studio gesso, the Claudine Helmuth studio gesso. But it's gesso, and so I can still use the bottle. And that goes in here. So I pretty much have everything right there to start the backgrounds for journal pages. Okay. This little box, let me see this. Okay, here's a straw. But you're wondering what that's for. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so here's my little color pencil set. And the straw, okay, and I saw this online. It's not my original idea. I saw this online. You put your pencil to extend your length. You put your pencil in the straw, okay? And you can work with it, and you still can have it leaning on your hand, which is like how I like to work. But, ta -da, very cool portable pencil extender. Love it, love it, love it. But this little box was a Band-Aid brand, I think Johnson & Johnson, first aid kit. And I think they're still available. But it's just a little plastic box. And it is, those mark, those uh, pencils fit in there perfectly. And of course, a straw you can get just about anywhere. But anyway, that's the basic content. 
of my bag and it all fits and I can see everything I just have to take out this and that and I can see everything and uh, that's that's my newest little travel bag and I usually will take this to mom's you know for the day so that's a pretty cool pretty fun idea okay so let me go ahead and put this phone folder back down okay so back to the travel journal for a second okay I just want to make sure that y'all understood how to how to fold this folder okay so I'm going to fold one because I need one uh, to do the challenge okay so what I'm going to do is break the videos up into two parts so um, let's see so anyway to to do this folder let me go ahead and grab one over here and this one is the center fold okay so this is a regular file folder okay regular file folder you can open it up and it doesn't matter you know which which way you put it um, I think I would like this to be my fold over flap so I'm going to put that over on the right okay and I'm going to take my six by nine folder and I'm going to measure just by laying it in there how far I want it to go up now I also need to take into consideration which I didn't do on the other one um, oh question whether regular file folder letter size that you cut down um, no this is this is a regular yeah this one is a regular this is the six by nine they come like this uh, let me get the uh, box top and I'll show you the little ones let me see where's the oh here it is <laughs> on this end this is the nine by six third cut and I got these off Amazon that's the little ones I didn't I didn't cut anything okay I didn't cut anything this is so easy you know I mean you don't have to cut anything except for these two little squares and that's it okay yeah yeah six by nine yeah there um, if you want the link for it tweet me and I'll, I'll give it to you uh, so anyway if I, I want to put all of my three days in here I need to allow for the quarter inch here as a pocket okay so what I think I might want to do with this one is mark if I can find a pencil hello pencil there we go is make a mark where the file folders end and then I'm gonna do a fold right there so I'm gonna take that just fold up the you know and match the crease and then get the bone folder back out and go ahead and crease that okay and then I'm going to crease it a quarter inch away so my folders will fit okay so I'm going to do it just about like that let's see yeah that's going to work all right so I'm going to make another crease right here so this is the cover and this is the one I'm going to be arting on in a little bit okay so that when I put my folders in I have that space see that space for the, the the folders to be and I forgot to fold this this way first reinforce this a little bit it's really thick right there and then let me go ahead and reinforce first fold okay there we go all right that's good now got that okay so then once I set these in here and I've got my space for them to sit and they're sitting nicely all right I'm gonna move that over and what I might want to do is also you know how the file folders have like quarter inch fold marks already you know so you can expand the width I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well so there's the original fold and then the one next to it is that quarter inch and so I'm going to try to get it to fold there without making too much wrinkle 
making it wrinkle too much everywhere else. Okay, I'm going to need a little help from my bone folder apparently. Since it wants to actually fold the other way, I want it to go this way. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reinforce that. Okay, so basically you're just folding on, you know, pre-folded lines. That's to give yourself that gutter that you need. Okay, so you've got this, you've got this. When you fold that up, okay, that's going to give you your edge. Now we're going to cut some of this bulk out of here in a minute. Okay, so you've got this going on. Okay, now on this other side, we want to fold that in on the edge so we can cut this part out over here. So what we want to do is take one of your folders and put it on that second fold line and then that gives you where you can fold on this side. So you just want to fold that in. And all this is going to do is help be a pocket to keep your ephemera from falling out. Okay, I need to turn this so I can fold it straight. I'm going to line, the, line those edges up. It's a little tough. This stuff's really thick. Oh, sorry. Bumped the camera again. Hey, Jonna. And hello, anybody else I missed? <laughs> Working here. Okay, so now I want to cut this corner out. And when I cut a corner out like this, I cut it uh, toward the part that's going to be saved. So in other words, I'm cutting it to the outside instead of the inside. Okay, I'm going a little above that fold line. And I'm not sure about this particular fold. I, we may need to cut that, maybe not. Let me try it and see. Okay, so you cut that part out, and then when you fold it up and fold that over, that, that flap is still there. So that's going to stick out. So yeah, we're going to cut that too. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that, that quarter inch. So we're going to cut this all the way up to that fold line and a little past it. Just a little bit past that fold line, and then we're going to cut this straight. So we do not see the fold mark. Okay, the fold mark is still here on the piece. Okay, that way nothing shows when it's not supposed to. Okay, that means when you've got this all folded, fold it up here, tuck that in, and fold it here so you've got more space on that side. Now, here's where the problem is. You have all this space on the inside of this fold. So here's where the problem is, and we've got to figure out how to cut that. Okay, so we're going to cut out this part right here. We're going to cut this one out. Let's see if I can cut this direction. Cutting on the outside of the fold mark. Got a little crooked, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so let me see if we need to cut out one piece or two. Let's see what's going to happen here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut up to that fold line. All right, and I've taken out that quarter inch piece. And let's see if that gives us enough room to close. I think that's going to work. It still gives us a pocket. You know what? I may want to go ahead and cut that second piece. It may or may not get in the way. I won't really know until I start using it. So, yeah, I think it's going to see it's making it fold right there funny. So, yeah, let's go ahead and cut that piece out. So, we're going to cut out both of those pieces. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Now it's going to close a little bit better. Okay, yeah, I'm happier with that. Okay, so that's going to work. All right, so I'm going to put that in the recycle. Okay, so now we've got that half inch cut out right there. Does everybody see that? Okay, you see what it looks like, All right? We've got the corner cut out here. We've got a half inch cut out here, and that's a little crooked. It's okay. I'm not worried about it. 
Uh, and now I'm going to cut out this side. But I first need to make sure that when I've got my piece folded over that this piece is going to come over this piece. So I want to make sure I have plenty of room for my little folders. Make a little mark. I think right there is going to do it. I'm going to turn it so I can fold it straight. And I'm just lining up the edges to cut it straight. I mean to fold it straight. Uh, I need a lot of shoulder power. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> hey, Dar. Okay, like that. All right. And now I've got my cut lines for here. Okay, so now we're going to cut out this one. So we're going to cut above the fold line so you don't see it when the finished product. And we're going to cut to the inside of the fold line so you don't see it. Okay, and that means that all the, the fold lines are still on this paper. They're going to go in the recycle bin. Okay. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> okay, so that means now I've got my folders fitting in their quarter inch space. There's the pocket over here. It's going to go like this. This one's going to flap over like this, and the band goes on like so. Ta da! You can also get the um, hair bands that they have at the dollar store, the elastic hair bands, and you can put the thing on this way if you want to. But um, this is this is perfectly good. This this works great. So there we go. So that's it. Uh, any questions? Everybody understand? Uh, yes, I'm going to decorate this cover with the challenge list. Yes, I'm going to break the videos up into two parts. So we'll have one part for this and then one for the challenge. Okay. All right. So now let me get this undone and um, do the video so we can move on to the challenge. Okay. So everybody gets how to how to do all the look. Okay. Good deal. I'm going to set this over here. And I don't know what I'm going to need, so I'm going to try to move everything off of my supplies. <laughs> Make a little bit of noise. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to keep broadcasting, but I'm going to stop the video. And put my tools in order so I can find everything. And uh, a little bit of a cleanup here. But I'm going to stop the recording and I'm going to have to label it because it's not going to let me do anything. So I'm still here. I'm just going to stop the recording and start it again.